Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Adobe Live and welcome to today's Adobe Express session. If we're just meeting, my name is Katrina Tarijos and I'm the Adobe Express evangelist. I'm also a content creator and streamer on the side. I'm so excited for today's session because we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna be talking about add-ons. So raise your hand in the chat if you have ever played around with the add-ons in Adobe Express before, particularly in the beta, which by the way, if you're just joining for the first time ever, um, Adobe Express just launched its new beta um, platform. You can go there by going to adobe.com slash express, and then you can sign up for the beta. It is completely free. All you have to do is just have an Adobe account and then you'll be able to access it. But hello to everyone in chat. Hi, Anika. Hi, Sean. Hi, Abbas. I'm also watching the YouTube chat as well. So whether if you're on YouTube or on Behance, hello. How's it going? Hi, Dee. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Patrick. Oh, my gosh. So many people today. It is a party. It is also a little strange that I'm streaming on a Wednesday. So um, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like it. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump on over to my screen. So here we are on the homepage of Adobe Express. Um, and then we're just going to start from a template. Like I, we're gonna tackle, we're gonna touch on almost all of the add-ons. And if we don't um, get to all the add-ons today, of course we can always do a part two stream. Um, so let's just go and find something that'll give us a lot of elements. Um, uh, any ideas in chat? Um, let's see, maybe like a, oh, I see right here, a mood board. A mood board would be great, or like some sort of collage. That way we have a lot of uh, elements to work from. So we have a bunch of different collages here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh wait, these are all pictures. These are all photos. This is crazy. So this is more like a background kind of thing. Oh, you had me fooled. Could definitely make this in, ex in Adobe Express. Um, okay, let's start off with this one. Um, so we have a bunch of different images. We have a little color palette here. There's enough space where you can add things um, or delete things. I dig it. Um, D says, watching from Panama, hello. Oh my gosh, that is so far away. <laughs> Uh, chat, let me know where you are tuning in from. Today I'm streaming from San Jose, California. Um, the current weather is cloudy. Uh, I, it feels like 60 degrees. <laughs> uh, we just became a weather forecast stream. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna move some elements around. We have some Polaroids here. And let's see what we can make today. I'm just gonna make some room kind of loosen up the elements, see if there's anything grouped or anything like that. Okay, um, maybe we can make these Polaroids a little smaller. We'll see what we can do with them later. These little tapey thingies are grouped, so we'll ungroup that, but yeah. Also, uh, random question, random question of the day. When you open a template, how do you tackle it like when you first open it up? Do you, ungroup everything? Do you click around? Do you start moving things? Do you just start like replacing things right away? I'd love to know how you get started with templates. I'm so excited because the clipping mask add-on is ours. Yes! I love it. Especially the fun shapes. Yeah, of course. Love that too. I have ha I've had very limited time with the add-on, so if there's anything that I don't mention on the stream, feel free to drop some knowledge in the chat. Um, we're all here to learn it together. Um, Sean is tuning in from Germany. Patrick from Switzerland. Oh my gosh. I love it. Hi, Tom. Welcome to the stream. Hello. <laughs> okay. So we are going to be moving some elements. Okay. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good. We can play with this. Okay. So we're just going to go and head straight on to the add-ons. And I enabled is that the word enabled downloaded i enabled all of them so that i don't <laughs> we can skip all the the sign-ins and stuff today but if you are just looking at your add-ons for the first time 
you will see them in like a list, I believe. Um, and then you'll have to enable them um, or, you know, sign into an account or something like that um, in order to use the add-ons. But I just went ahead and just did all of that. <laughs> so we are strapped with all the add-ons today. Um, let's see, is that a line I see? Uh, yes, a line is so, so good. Yes. Okay. Um, so we're going to start with a couple of them. Like I said, we probably won't be able to get through all of these today. Um, so I'm going to start the ones that with the ones that are um, that we can use for our project. So I think starting off the one that I've spent the most time in is actually the vision board since we are creating a mood board today. Um, let's do, you know, it's only fitting to do the vision board. And also if you ever enable all of the add-ons like I did to go back to see what each thing does. Cause I was forgetting a lot of the times, like what each add-on did. Um, you just have to click the three dots and you can either remove the add-on or see the details and you can get a little bit more information about what the add-ons do, the version, when it was published. And then you can also see the website support. Um, and all that stuff. So great little uh, tool. Okay, so we have the vision board um, add-on enabled. And so as you can see, another menu pops up on the right-hand side and it just gives you so many more design assets. When I first saw this, I was like, ooh, okay. We have a lot more assets to play around with. Um, hi Gareth, welcome to the stream. Align, yes, we have the align tool right here. Oh my gosh, is this new by the way? I think it, it might be new. Was that, was this here yesterday? I, I can't remember. Anyway, someone let me know in chat. So let's start off with layouts. There's like different kind of assets here. But let's start off with layouts. This one I thought, like this one blew my mind the most because I was like, ah, you can just make your collage right here. Um, it has like this heart shape, it has this hexagon shape, but the one that I love is this kind of like Polaroid stack over here. Um, and I don't know, I just love it so much. And since we have Polaroids here, um, we should definitely follow the theme. Okay, so let's go to upload images. And then, so I have my folder ready. Your girl came prepared. And I have a bunch of these stock images to add to our mood board. So I'm just gonna open it up. And then the, the preview here um, will update with all the images. It's so cool. And then if you just click on it, it will, oh wait, is it click or is it click and drag? Is it click? Is it click and drag? Okay, it's a click and drag. Um, and then it'll pull up all the pictures here. Wow, so cool. Um, and then from there, it's pretty much a still kind of image. You can't really move the pictures around. The only way you can do that is if you back out of layouts, let's say you want individual Polaroids, you can also do it this way and then just do the pictures individually. Um, and then it should update. Did it update? Oh, I am lagging. There you go. There it updated. If you just click on it, it'll show up right here. So if you wanted that, wanted to move the pictures individually, there's that workaround um, as well. But we're gonna go with the layout option today, just cause it's easier. Just gonna select everything. Um, a few weeks ago, wow. For the add-ons, yes. I think, I can't rem I don't know. Maybe someone knows in chat if it came out right when the beta came out. Um, but if not, oh, I dragged it. Oops, oh, oh, I'm scuffing. One second. Hello, add-on? I like yeeted it all the way to the corner. Hold on, <laughs> redo. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have our pictures here. Maybe we can just center it. Um, and then we will move it to the bottom layer just by opening the layers panel and bringing it to the bottom. Okay, it looks a little chaotic right now, but we'll fix it, we'll fix it. Okay, it's a, it's a process, you know, trust, trust the process here, okay? Um, so maybe we can even make it a little smaller and then you can even layer like more collages like 
um, or layouts. So if you want to have like another stack, you can definitely like click it again, like upload new images, of course, and then just start stacking them on top of each other and stuff like this and just make a massive, massive collage. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this here for now. Um, and let's actually group this because I don't like moving these individually. Okay, so we'll leave that there, um, and then let's see, let's see what's, what's, what else is going on. Okay, another one is grids, is another favorite. Um, love a good vision board. Yes, upload your images first. Yes, Abbas, you are correct. That is one thing that was tripping me up. Um, was that I needed to, for some of these add-ons, you need to upload your images or even select the color first um, before, um, what's it called? Before, so, uh, what's it called? Before putting the asset into the design. So let's see. You can add this grid. I don't know if you can, y'all can see, but let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh, oh, oh, my bad. There you go. And then I'm going to bring this to the background layer. We have a nice grid, and then we're gonna put a second one down here. And then I'm gonna move this down there. Looks good. Okay. Maybe we'll make these assets a little smaller. Oh, I made it disappear. Oops. Oh, it's scuffing. That's okay. You know what? That's okay. You stay there. You stay there. You want to stay that size. That's okay. Um, okay, so we have the images. <coughs> Hi, David. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Miss Melanie. How's it going? Today we are in Adobe Express and we're playing around with the add-ons today. We're trying to make a project just from the add-ons, which is wild. It's really, not really out of my comfort zone, but I've always gone to, you know, the design assets, the icons, but today we are just strictly using the add-ons. Um, okay, so now we have this color palette here. Um, I, oh, there's this color option, which I think is really cool because there are different color palettes. So this is what I mentioned earlier about you have to put the colors in because at first I was getting a little confused because I was, I was like, okay, how do I change the colors? You know, I would add it first, but this bar up here will actually help uh, allow you to change the different colors and it has a color picker tool so let's say we want to change up this color palette here let's give it a little update um, we'll choose maybe like this blue color and then we'll change this color I'm just using the color picker tool the eyedropper tool and just picking up random colors so we have a blue maybe we'll do like a pink Okay, there it is. And then maybe we can do... Did we do a blue already? We did a blue already. Let's do a purple. And then maybe... I like these or this orange color. We could do that. That looks cool. That looks fancy. Um, so let's go ahead and just click on one of these palettes. Maybe this one. And then we can go ahead and get rid of this one. It is so nice. Hi, David. Welcome to the stream. Good morning. Well, good morning. <laughs> good morning if you're <laughs> on the West Coast. I think even East Coast already is in the afternoon. Um, but hello. Okay, and we'll put this off to the side here just, just to offset it quite a bit. Okay, so um, that's color palettes. You can also add in a single color. Um, and then you can have like the dots, um, the circles on its own. Um, there's even blobs, if you like blobs. And then there are these color cards right here that also, a fun 
fun little thing is that they have names. So if you switch up the colors, right? And then you add it, it has a name. Isn't that so cute? I think this is a cute way to um, display different colors or a color palette. Um, if you're making like a mood board, vision board, anything like that. Um, okay, so now that that's done, let's move on to, let's see, brushes. Okay, so brushes are pretty great because we have this gradient tool right here and then you can change up the gradients. If you are set to gradient, you can also do a solid color as well. Um, but the cool part is, is that you can change the color of the gradient. So you don't, you're not stuck to these presets here. Um, if you want, you can definitely start from a preset. So like, let's say I want to start from like, maybe this one is like the closest, the purple to blue. And then you can also add in a third color to give it a little bit more dimension in the middle of the gradient. So if we do that, maybe we'll do a more of a, a brighter purple. Maybe this blue can be a little different. But yeah, you can make your own custom gradient. And then let's say I want to add this. You can also add text in front of it. So where it says inspirational mood board, let's actually change it up. Inspirational mood board. Now, of course, the limitation with this one is I believe you cannot change the font. You can either do serif, sans serif, or script font. Um, so you don't have to put in the text if you want to use your own custom font. Um, so you can even just take that out, but you can, if you wanted to go that route, you could just type your text in here, choose the font style, and then um, choose the color. So we're just gonna go with this, with the background, and then for this text, let's actually ungroup this. Um, and then I'm gonna take this, bring it to this brush stroke shape that we just did, drag it up top, and here it is. Okay, and then maybe we can add in this little icon shape as well. So we're gonna click this, so your shift click that, and then let's just group everything together and we can put it up top here. And then with the text, we can change it. Let me actually ungroup. And then let's do the dynamic text. And then we can also change this font. Let's see, oh my gosh, there's so many fonts to choose from. What's everyone's like favorite font as of today? I, <laughs> I think mine right now would be mascot, which is like the mascot, I think rough number one. I think that would, that would be my favorite font right now. This one's cool. Oh, this one's fun. I kind of like this one or the holes aren't punched out. Cute, okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and regroup these, group, and now we have this little tag here that can hang off the side a bit. Okay. All right, what's next? Maybe we can move these Polaroids back into the picture. We kinda, we kinda shoved them off to the side. Oh, it's a group, oops. 
we kind of just yeeted them off to the side, but now we can put them Okay. Cool. Make the tape smaller. Okay. <coughs> oh, it disappeared. Stop it. All right. Perfect. Okay, what do we got? What else do we got? Uh, okay, so there are other things in the mood or in the vision board uh, add-on as well, such as patterns. You can make, you can have a bunch of patterns, clipped images, there's maps. Um, pills, I think, is really cool where you can add in like an image. Like you, uh, I did it again. You upload the image here, you put it in, and you can also change the gradient of the um, thing. See, I did it. The Okay. An <laughs> another the, uh, this might be a reminder I might treat this as a reminder for you all but this is like more of a reminder for me that you have to make the changes first before you add it to the project okay so um, <laughs> which is good to know so you can change the fill and add it in that's when the changes occur okay so there's different um, pills um, there's a flower shapes you could use and you can even customize the color of it as well. Just changing the color like this. Um, what else? There's waves. You can choose different kinds of waves and also the color. There's just so many more, um, assets that you can use. Badges. This is amazing because I love to make those you tried stickers. And this is great because there is a gold gradient to make it look like a gold sticker. And then you can just put, you tried. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Perfect meme or reminder. <laughs> it's What is this? An acknowledgement? <laughs> you tried. Another one I like to say is an attempt was made. <laughs> A for effort. Um, but yeah, so that is the sticker badges. There's also arrows. So if you want to add arrows to your project, very cool. Oh my gosh, I did it again. I did it again. You have to edit the thing. Oops. Did I do it wrong? Hello? Um, okay. You can add in arrows. Um, how do I move this? There you go. Something like that. We'll add in some fun arrows. Mm-mm-mm. So this is great for if you're making any call outs or anything like that or any emphasis you can add spirals um or let's see other one ribbons there's only one ribbon right now but hopefully we get more and then this one was really par par peculiar for me and it's the weather so at first i was like what is this all about and these are cute little like weather stickers that you can add i don't believe they're customizable um but it's great because it has different themes. So I did it again. <laughs> so if you flip through the different color palettes, you get different color themes. And then you can just put it on like this. Um, or I think you can customize it as well. I think. Yes, you can change. Oh, I messed up. Did I open just, did I open another window? Oh. I broke it. I broke it. Hold on one second. The project's still there. Oops. I broke it. I broke it. There we go. 
we are back. Um, what was I doing? Uh, we were still in vision board, right? Vision board and the weather. Oh no, I know, I broke it. I was aggressive with my clicking. Um, but you should be able to change the individual colors. Like such. <laughs> it. But yes. Like this. You're able to change the different colors. But yeah. So that, I think, is vision board and then another one there's uh, 3d illustrations is really cool because you can add like different um 3d elements to your project now some of these add-ons have um premium features so it will require an additional um what's it called subscription for the premium assets but there are a lot of free ones that are you're able to work with like the social icons i think is really helpful you just click on it and it creates like a little 3D little icon. It's really cute. Um, oh, look, we have to put the Behance one. What is the stream without Behance? The Behance icon. I love to see it. Um, and then there's other icons like hand gestures and stuff. And then you can also search as well for other. Um, for other 3D illustrations. Um, and then another asset one. Oh, here's the free stock. What is the full name of this? Free stock search. So if you can't, if you ever can't find anything in the Adobe stock um, collection, um, we have this add-on here, which gives you an even more extensive library of stock assets to use. All you have to do is just search here, like let's look up maybe like sign, or something like that, and then it'll pull up more assets for you to use, which I think is pretty great. I feel like we always need more stock assets. Um, what else is there? Um, let's see. Hi, Wade. Welcome to the stream. We are learning about add-ons today in Adobe Express. Have you ever used add-ons? Okay. So another cool one is Space Fill. Has any of you used Space Fill? So basically it generates patterns. I really like this one. Hold on. I don't want to lose this one. Um, but it generates different patterns at different scales. And then it, it's like a, it like creates seamless patterns for you. And this is like great for using stuff as, using these as backgrounds. Um, so if I put this on top, I'll bring it to the bottom. And then you can even adjust it like the opacity. Because some of these colors are really strong. So if you ever wanted to like just have a, add a little subtle oomph to your project. Um, there, there you go. Um, I use brand fetch in Photoshop. Yes. Oh my gosh. We'll talk about brand fetch. Brand fetch is chef's kiss. I loved it. Um, uh, I have, yes. I love these backgrounds. As you all know, I am a background slash pattern girly. Like I always use, um, try, I always try to add something to the background. I, I don't personally, I don't like, um, solid color backgrounds. So I always try to add either like a texture a gradient or even a subtle pattern. I've dabbled in add-ons, looked through the options. Yeah, there are so many options. I love it. Um, okay, and then there are so many one. There are a lot of ones that I still need to kind of learn how to use um, to like its potential. But from what I'm seeing, you know, uh, I'm really I really like it. Um, and then. So we have the space fill. What else are we doing? What else is another one? Okay, clipping mask. Some, some of y'all have talked about the clipping mask one. Um, clipping mask pro for stunning graphic designs. Love it. Um, yeah, see, as you can see, I'm still learning how to use these add-ons. So I have to like pull up the descriptions um, periodically. Katrina's a pattern girly. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so this Clipping Mask Pro is a great um, tool to use if you want to mask your um, 
create clipping mask of your images. And of course, we're going back to uploading an image. I didn't do it this time. I used to like spawn the shapes first and I'm like, ah, I forgot again. Um, and then you can basically, it just turns your images, it just clips your images into these masks that are really cool. And of course this also um, comes with a, a subscription for the premium uh, or for like the premium assets. So consider that if you are into creating uh, clipping masks. Uh, uh, uh. Hi Christopher, welcome to the stream. Let's see. This is so, I really like this. These are so cool. Let's add it. Why not? This is probably the most chaotic um, collage inspirational mood board that I have ever made. <laughs> In like the best way. Okay, now we can release mask. Maybe let's change up the image. Let's pick this one. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let's add it. Full send. Let's do this and then maybe we can add it like here or something. Um, and oh, layer, let's move it down looks so cool and then I think we can even move these assets <clears throat> let's adjust this a little bit all right perfect okay and then the other favorite thing about the clipping mask uh, add-on is the uh, the blob maker. I get um, a little, <laughs> I get a little burst of joy making these blobs. Um, Angel on YouTube said, "But it's only a trial for a clipping add-on." Yes, it is a trial right now. So you do if you want to, anything that's a premium asset is marked with a lock over here and will require an additional. Um, subscription for those assets. <clears throat> so with the blob maker, you can just make your own custom blobs. You just play around with the sides and the edges, and then um, you can mess with the shape a little bit, and then just keep shuffling until it's like a good shape that you want. Like I want a lot of sides I want the blobbiest blob like look at this, this is so cute okay let's add and so this is great sometimes I use blobs behind like um titles and words and stuff um uh, oh my gosh wait you know what we okay let's go back hold on I want to change the color. What am I doing? I want to change the color. Oh, there's no color picker, picker tool here, by the way. That's a good, that's a good thing to note. I want to create a blob that is ditto inspired. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. But is it limit trial? Uh, one uh, Abba said it's a one-time purchase. Thank you so much for answering the question. I was not entirely sure. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna add the blob. I'm just gonna click this. Add it to the back. And then let's even make another one. Maybe we'll make this one similar to the blue color. Add it. I love this color. This is probably my favorite shade 
of blue. <clears throat> uh, can I move? Oh, am I blocking? I am blocking. I'm sorry. I will move my. Oop. I will move my camera. My bad. Also, make it a little smaller. My bad. Thank you for the note. <clears throat> That's cool. Downloading. Yes. Make your own blobs. Um, okay, so what are we doing? Okay, so this, that is the blob maker. Wait, can I save? <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No way, oh, it's premium, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, I can, my blob can be a mask. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm sorry, Miss. which add-on did you get the BE app from? Oh. Yes, I got it from the 3D illustrations under social icons right here. Can confirm humming blobs. Yes, I draw humming blobs. That's so cute. I love it. Um, okay, so that is the blobs. Um, what's next? Brand fetch. Brand fetch. And then we can also talk about auto icon. So brand fetch is another... Um, really useful tool if you let's say are creating a media kit or something that requires you to <coughs> have um, other like big company logos um, I personally have a hard time finding some of these logos <laughs> um, online if I am doing a media kit <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me, or even like a sponsorship like package deck or something like that, um, and I need another company's logos, Brand Fetch is perfect for adding that. Um, but you just have to type in, search in the, the company, I guess, like I mean, Starbucks, I don't know, let's see. Um, and I will just preface this by saying that I would say like not every single brand is on here. I believe they do have to have their assets like uploaded into the brand fetch platform because when I was going through like the Adobe one, um, it didn't have every single like variation. Um, so and then I was also trying to experiment and see if there was one for like Adobe Express. There wasn't one. So I assume that um, it has to, they have to be, they have to have their stuff on brand fetch. So, and some are outdated, learn that the hard way. Mm-hmm, I feel that. Some are outdated. Like this actually might be outdated. I am not too sure, so um, yeah. But if you want to add a logo, I believe it's a click and drag. Yes, it is. So you just drag the logo over and then you can resize it and stuff like that. I mean, this is definitely not the correct way to use the Adobe logo. I am breaking all the brand rules right now, but you know, just for demonstration purposes, this is how you would add a logo to your project. Hi Penny, welcome to the stream. Hi Lennon. <coughs> Um, okay, so that is brand fetch. Also, if there's, besides um, doing a media kit or anything like that, let me know in the chat what are other ways that you could use brand fetch because I was trying to think of other creative ways to use it. Um, but let me know. Uh, probably at the top of my head, I think another way you could use it would be like for mock-ups. Like I know some um, some designers have made like passion projects, personal projects for brands, but like a fictional kind of product or something, um, more of like an ideation. I think that would be a good way to use it, but I don't know. Let me know some ideas um, in chat. Okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is Auto Icon. So Auto Icon is kind of like what it's, its name is. It, it pretty much adds or gives you a more extensive library of different kinds of icons that you can use in your projects, um, and as well as emojis. 
Um, let me see if I pull up the details on it. Yes, it has over 160K high quality icons. Um, and let's see, let's see. Unlocking access to over 160,000 icons from popular fonts and emoji sets like Font Awesome 4 and 5, material design icons, ion icons, etc. So basically, a more diverse and extensive icon library in addition to what Adobe Express offers you. Um, so if I just click into one, it has all these different icons that you can use. And this is great. I haven't quite used this yet, um, but I love icons as well. Um, and then another asset one, there was one more, right? One more, Undraw. Undraw is another asset one um, add-on <clears throat> that provides you with illustrations and then you can change the color of these as well. And then it has a, the cool thing is, is that it has like a responsive background on it. So as you can see, like with the different colors, um, you know, if I get to a certain point where the, the illustration's too light, it'll actually switch the background to um, dark to like adapt to like the color that I'm changing it to. I think that part's pretty cool. So you can see like, if to how it'll look against like a lighter background or if it should be used like uh, against a darker background. That's pretty cool. Um, I use it for link tree icons. Nice. That's cool. I love it. Um, and then to add the icons, let's say you could just pretty much just click on it and then it shows up like such like a a design asset would. Oh my gosh, this a brand. I mean, this I was gonna say brand mood board. This inspirational mood board is getting real hefty. There's a lot happening here. I have the gaming one. Gaming controller. We love to see it. We'll just scooch it in right here <laughs> are these vectors um let me see i'm not sure in chat does anyone know open source design assets for any project you can imagine and create and it was you design better posters and graphics without a cost or need for attribution on the background for artwork it doesn't say anything about it being vector. So if anyone in chat knows, let me know. I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about it being being vector. But let's test it out. Um, it's organized chaos, though. I'm trying. I am trying to make it an organized chaos. <laughs> I'm trying really hard. Because I feel like it's like one asset away from from being absolute chaos, which is not a bad thing. The point of today's stream is to use add-ons, to create something using add-ons. I never said it had to be pretty <laughs> on the first try. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So that is pretty much most of the asset related add-ons. So there's a couple different ones that are important to talk about. Um, the first one, I'll just go down the list. The first one is Loading Bay. And this one is pretty great. Let me pull up the details here. Um, so Loading Bay pretty much allows you more import and exporting capabilities. So you can import your images um, to put into your project here. Or, this is where I think a lot of the power is in Loading Bay, is the export um, in the exporting format. So, basically, um, sorry, there is a dude leaf blowing outside. I'm sorry if y'all can hear that. Um, but basically, you can export in different formats, such as AVIF, JPG, PNG, PSD flat, TIFF. Um, web pages, MP4, or PDF, um, which is amazing. And you can do the current page or you can do the whole document. 
which I think is great because I believe if I were to download this today, it would just be PNG, JPG, and PDF on its own. So it just gives you a lot more options um, to download your file in a different format. I thought that was my fan. Is it loud? Is it loud? If it's loud, I can, I can just do a ninja roll over my bed to close my window really quick. <laughs> I always feel like a day should be defined for lawn mowing and leaf blowing. Yeah, right? Like, why now? Why now? <laughs> and I was chainsawing. Oh, is it loud? Is it loud? It's... I can't... <laughs> nope, go with it. Okay, we're going with it. Too bad. You guys could have seen my ninja roll. What do you mean? <laughs> okay. Um, so that is Loading Bay. Um, and then next is media grab. So this one's great for grabbing images from web pages. So let's say, um, for example, I'm going to use my own personal website, um, com, and it pretty much extracts all of the images from that web page. So it ha definitely pulled stuff from my Instagram, from my header. It pulled my logos and stuff. So <laughs> my ninja moves. Yeah, you don't want to see this roll. You know, this ninja roll. Just right on over to my window. <laughs> Sounds like a drone. Oh, I feel it. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it'll pull some images um, from the web page. Um, and some, it, it won't pull everything. Um, if it has an unsupported image size or a website error or something like that. Um, more on this website. It also will, oh my gosh, I've never clicked on this. What's on the about page? Oh, oh, more images. Okay, so it shows the different images on these pages. Okay, cool. It shows my favorite podcast that I featured. So essentially, you get it. It pulls um, images that are on certain web pages if you need it. Don't be modest. We all know you're going to backflip to the window, <laughs> right? <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. Um, Lennon asks, are these assets exportable for Photoshop and InDesign? I'm actually not too sure about that. Um, can anyone in chat, um, this is this question came from the YouTube chat. Can any, does anyone have the um, answer to that? Angel said, yeah, we need that PNG transparent download back. Yes, I agree. I agree with you so much. I heavily agree with that. Um, okay, so that is Media Grab. And then uh, next is Bueno NFT. So I personally don't have too much experience with um, working with NFTs, but from the description up here, it says that it is an add-on that enables designers to effortlessly transform their artboards into NFT drops with Bueno. So if you are into NFTs, you use Bueno, you just sign in to your account, um, and then I believe you'll be able to turn your projects into NFTs. That's the impression I'm getting. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but um, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Um, and then there's OneDrive. So if you have a, if you store all of your assets into OneDrive, you can sign in here um, and then you'll be able to access um, those assets. And then same thing with Dropbox. I don't have either of them. So um, uh, of course these are blank for me. Um, and then Color Designer is great um because it can i need this sorry <laughs> i need i still need the directions i mean directions the uh descriptions but you can generate tint shades and color harmonies um so i found that this is great for when it, i'm doing the gradient generator so if i pick two different colors and i want to create sort of like a gradient, like it doesn't create the actual like gradient map but it does create like the different steps so this is great for, how do I close this? Does this close? I don't know. Um, but this is great for if you want to have that gradient effect, like if you're putting something in manually and then you want to copy all these um, these color codes, either it's, I don't know if you can see, my laptop's blocking, um, LCH, HSL, LAB, RGB, and LRGB, 
you can just copy it directly on here and then you can just input the hex codes <clears throat> yes this is really cool i still have yet to actually oh i closed it <laughs> i still have yet to actually um explore more about color designer but i am very very intrigued so tints and shades so these are different tints of this color i guess and then shades, different shades, and then color harmonies. This one, I'm like, okay, I definitely need this because when it comes to, like, color, like, palette making <laughs> or, like, using certain colors in a design, like, clearly I just worked off a template here, but, like, if I were to do something from scratch, I definitely would have wanted, like, you know, I definitely could need need some help. <laughs> so that is color designer. Um, and then next ones are a couple tools. Here's one for color blindness. So color blindness blindness simulator. So it basically shows you a preview of a design um, with different um, forms of color blindness which is great for if you want to make your design more accessible you want to be more mindful because personally I haven't even thought about um, what's it called viewing my project in this way for viewers who do have um, who are colorblind and so there's different kinds here different previews and you can just see how your design looks um, with different with these different color blindness types here, which is super useful in my opinion. So you can see how your project looks. <clears throat> Do these add-ons come up with the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription on a bundle or are they free? I believe as of right now, they are free within the Adobe Express beta. So anyone has access to them. Um, it's just a tab right here and then you can enable the ones that you want to use. Okay, so that is the color blindness tool and then the attention insights. So this one's really useful if you wanna test your design on like different focus areas. Um, it uses AI to kind of make predictions on where people will focus the most on your design. So this is great if you're making flyers, thumbnails, whatever, um, and you want the audience to focus on a specific part, but you don't know if it's like popping out as much, um, this is a great tool to run your design through. It can give you all the information. So my best guess is that it'll be here and here because that is like the part that's like sticking out at me. Like one, I read top bottom, you know, top to bottom and I see words here, gotta read it. See a bunch of images, makes my eyes dance a little bit. So I don't know if I'm like really zoned in anywhere in the middle, but then this Behance logo is also really big. So boom. And then from there, it shows like a little bit, like kind of a heat map of like where more attention will go to and less attention. So I see like two areas. You can also switch to a focus map. So it kind of blacks out the areas where, um, people won't exactly be focusing on, but the ones that'll come through really clearly is where a lot of people will probably pay attention the most as your, uh, to your design. And then of course you can test a new page if you have multiple pages. Um, you can also do the different settings. So if I were to do, some of these are kind of similar, but I noticed that like banners, like between these top two, it kind of gives me different results. Um, just a tiny bit. But it is, I think it's just really helpful if you are trying to um, create an effective design, like a YouTube thumbnail, an infographic, or something that, that will generate um, clicks and like grab people's attention. So, oh. But yeah, that, I believe we went through all of the add-ons. Wow, we made it through. <laughs> That's insane. Um, yeah. 
wow, we really made it through all the add-ons. This is this is great. Anyways, um, so that's pretty much it for today's stream. I hope you all enjoyed it, learned something new, and are inspired to try out add-ons. Um, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to do it. And also let me know. Um, tag me on Instagram or Twitter or anything like that. If you have tried out add-ons, I would love to see and hear what you think of them. Um, but with that, stay tuned for more streams throughout the day on Adobe Live. I believe it's ex uh, all most of the streams are related to Express in some way. Um, but correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know who's next. <laughs> but I think feel free to add all that information. But yeah, thank you all so much for joining me today. And I will see you all next time in the next stream. All right. Bye-bye.